Earlier today, Jet Engine released an update. It's update 2.4.7. And with this, there's one key real update. Now, there's some fixes and things like that. But what we're interested in, though, is the ability now to edit your listing items right inside the page or template you're working on. So you no longer have to do that round trip. This is going to work in a very similar fashion to one of the recent updates to Elementor itself, where we can easily edit the header and footer without having to go into the individual templates and make those changes. Hope that makes sense. Hope you know what I'm talking about. So what we're going to do in this quick video is I'm going to show you how this all works. Hopping over into Elemental, I've opened up my template now. This is just an archive template, but it can be a page. As long as it's got a listing grid inserted into it, that's all you need to do. So you can see I've got my listing grid inserted into my page. And you can see when I mouse over now this listing grid, don't need to be active, just need to mouse over it. You'll see this first listing item has this yellow box around it and the edit pencil in the top left hand corner. Once I click on that, we now jump over into editing mode. We're no longer editing the list, we're editing this specific template for the list item, the grid template. You can see now if I come over any of the items inside here and click, on the left hand side now, we can start directly editing and interacting with that specific widget. So if I wanted to make changes to any of these, I could do that directly inside the editor. But I can also add extra information in. So I can insert extra widgets without any kind of problem whatsoever. So let's just take a look at how easy it is to do just that. If we want to, we can just simply come up and choose another item. So we're going to just search for dynamic. And from there, we're going to drag in a dynamic field and drop that underneath our location entry. And there we go. So we now have a new item inside there. You can see this industry way. Let me just reposition that using the navigator just to make sure we've got it where we want. And there we go. So what I need to do now is just set up any parameters that I want for this. So let's just say I want to change my source to metadata. And from the metadata field, we can now choose what we want. And we're going to say that we want to choose the facilities. We're going to list the facilities for this particular property. Now, you can see nothing is currently showing up because we need to set up exactly how this is going to be output. So we're going to come down to filter field output and select that option. And then with the callback option, we can come in and choose what we want. So you think we've got, for example, checked values list. So we can click on there and you can see that now pulls in air conditioning, which is one of the different facilities this particular property has. You also notice that none of the other listings inside our listing grid are updated. This isn't because it won't happen. It's just because we're editing this particular layout, this template. And once we save this and update it, then it will reflect upon all of the other items inside this listing grid. So let's just quickly select the styling for this. We'll copy that styling and we'll paste that styling inside there. That makes it look a little better. And we'll just put in the customized field output. And we're just going to drop inside there. We're just going to say facilities. So people will know exactly what it is they're looking at. And there we go. So we've got facilities inside there. We can obviously adjust things like the spacing and all that kind of stuff. I'm not too worried about that right now. It's more a case of just showing you how this all works. So now that we've made that alteration, we can now hit update. And that will then update the page. And we want to come back out of this. We're just going to simply click on this back to edit parent post. So it's taking us out of the listing item and back into the post template itself. So we've come out of that. And you can see now that refreshes. And now we've got lists of all the different items specific to each of the different properties. So you can see it's updated in real time. So it's quite nice to see exactly how this all works. And that really is all there is to it. It's not some kind of earth shattering update, but it is a massive time saver when you create your initial sort of listing grid. And then you want to keep adding more things to it, but you want to take a look at adding it in there in context inside your design. So that's pretty cool. So that's just how easy it is now to use this listing grid editing directly inside the listing grid itself, no longer needing to round trip out to the listing grid in its own separate section in Elementor. For me, I think this is a good little time saver, something that more of these that we have speeds up the process of working with these kinds of tools and sites, and it's just an all around good thing to have. But what are your thoughts on this? Do you like the way that Jet Engine is in implementing these little time savers, these extra features? Let me know your comments in the comment section below. As always, all of the links for everything I've covered in the video are in the description. My name is Paul C. Until next time, take care.